the ocean is full of plastic. Scientists have discovered marine animals living on plastic rubbish in an area of the Pacific Ocean. Looks like the captain of this <laughs> garbage boat. Every day we see plastic. This is Boyant Slat, CEO of the Ocean Cleanup, a young, buoyant nonprofit with the ambitious goal of ridding our oceans and rivers of plastic. He believes that the waste still has value and that it should be put to use by being recycled and reintroduced into the production of new goods. This Dutch startup plans on tackling 90% of the plastics reaching the ocean, coming from only 10 rivers. To hit this target, some high tech machinery was needed, so the Ocean Cleanup invented the River Interceptor an automated solar-powered plastic collector like no one had ever seen. This innovative garbage-catching contraption guides a barrier which captures river trash and then leads it into a conveyor belt which then deposits the trash into six bins according to the item's recyclability. This is already a massive step towards cleaning plastic from our Earth's waters. However, Boyne and his team don't think it is enough. With the help of Mr. Beast and his collaborative Team Seas fundraiser, in addition to their corporate partners, including Coca-Cola, the Ocean Cleanup can scale operations, setting their sights even higher. Now onto harvesting the largest accumulation zone of plastic on the planet. So how bad is the problem? Well, pretty huge. This is called the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, and it covers around 1.6 million square kilometers, three times the size of France. This monstrous garbage patch is made up of about 1.8 trillion individual pieces of plastic amounting to 80 million kilograms of trash, or the weight of 500 jumbo jets. These remnants of petroleum product are destroying the ecosystem in the Pacific Ocean. According to the United Nations, at least 800 species worldwide are affected by marine debris, most of which is plastic. Fish, seabirds, sea turtles, and marine mammals often ingest these plastics or become entangled in them. Many of these species are found with indigestible plastics in their stomach, filling the cavity and causing starvation. Up to 1 million seabirds perish each year because of this. If that isn't enough, plastics have also been found to damage the world's coral systems, our ocean's lungs. Contact with this pesky rubbish increases the coral's chance of contracting disease by an alarming 89%. If these diseases could kill our ocean's coral network, we would be effectively eradicating sea life as we know it. The solution. Over the past year, the Ocean Cleanup has been testing their ocean garbage extraction method, 002, named Jenny. After the character from the always delightful Forrest Gump, of course. Hello, Jenny. This system is simple and incredibly effective at exterminating the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. It works by driving two Maersk ships in tandem, towing a 300 meter floating barrier between. The barrier is held up by massive floats on top, ensuring no garbage can escape from above. The net portion measures 3 meters deep, with an opening on the bottom allowing trapped fish to evade capture. The ships move at 1.5 knots and come together once a week to empty the retention zone and organize the materials on board one of the Maersk vessels. Once organized and packaged, the materials can be sent to their corresponding recycling facilities and made into new, sustainable goods. In mid-October 2021, Boy and Slat's 12-week test campaign was deemed successful, achieving proof of technology. From nine test extractions, 28,659 kilograms of plastic were removed from the ocean, and an astounding 9,000 retrieved from just one single hull. Moving forward, the Ocean Cleanup plans on running their series 002 Jenny until they launch the system sequel, the 003. At a length of 2.5 kilometers, the 003 is expected to be three times larger than its predecessor. The next phase involves scaling the project, with the objective of getting 10 Jennies operational as soon as possible. The Ocean Cleanup believes that with 10 systems, they could clean up 50% of the garbage vortex in the next five years. While this project is promising in terms of capturing plastic, there is still the problem of excessive greenhouse gas emissions put out by the Maersk ships. To offset these, the Ocean Cleanup pledges to purchase offsets to reach carbon neutrality. Soon, the Ocean Cleanup will depart from the harbour of Victoria using their next generation of Jenny systems. We here at Fast Forward can't wait to see what the project will do, and wish it nothing but success. 